All right, back now to medical rounds. And joining us tonight to give us some more information about essential tremors is Dr. Duarte Machado, the co-director of the David and Rhoda Chase Family Movement Disorders Center. Thank you so much, Dr. Machado, for rolling with the punches. We appreciate you being here tonight. Oh, my pleasure. Well, first of all, let us let us talk about essential tremors and the one question I had is is there a difference between essential tremors and Parkinson's disease are they one and the same or two different things no, they're two different things so essential tremor is actually the most common type of tremor in in the world and it's due to a dysfunction of the part of the brain called the cerebellum and the central tremor tends to involve a tremor when the patient um, moves the limb in some way, an action tremor, whereas with Parkinson's disease it's often a rest tremor, a tremor when the patient is at rest. That's an interesting distinction there. How do you manage tremor disorders? What can we do? So. The first line therapy are oral medications ranging from beta blockers such as propranolol to anti-epileptic drugs such as primidone. However, these drugs are only partially effective. Now, I understand you recently finished a clinical trial using Botox for essential tremors. How did you describe the study for us? How did that work? Sure, yeah. Our study was the first of its kind to compare an injectable uh, product um, compared to saline injections and, and this was a customized approach using small doses in selected muscle groups uh, to minimize uh, risk of any side effect. And what were the findings of the study? Did the Botox work? It did. So what we saw was that patients who received the injections of Botox uh, experienced about 48% improvement of tremor compared to only 14% of those who received saline injections. And the side effects of any weakness were minimal compared to prior studies. This is so effective that now my colleague, Dr. DeMarqueda, and I are now providing this treatment at our movement disorder center. That's wonderful. And so there's hope for people who have this condition uh, without any absolutely. serious side effects. Wonderful to hear. Correct. Thank you so much, Dr. Yeah. Duarte Machado, for providing such interesting information. Yeah.